I don't usually respond to comments with videos, but it's gonna be a lot faster if I can talk. This person asks, hey, I'm a player in a campaign where two of the party members are having inner party conflict. There's like an aggressive barbarian and a passive paladin. How do I resolve this? Um, it's mostly gonna be on the DM, so you can send them this video if you want. First of all, is due diligence. Um, of course, you wanna make sure that the party members are like purely keeping it to in-game and they don't actually hate each other IRL. If they hate each other IRL, then like there's nothing you can do in-game. They're just gonna have to deal with that like as adults. But assuming it's actually just good roleplay and they wanna work it out in-game, the DM can utilize a mid-game check-in, which everyone should be doing every now and then in a perfect world, where the DM sits down with everyone individually, privately, and asks them a series of questions like, how's the campaign going? What do you want more of? What do you want less of? How are safety tools going? And then one of the questions they should ask is, hey, how does your party member currently feel about everyone else in the party? What is your current relationship to each other person? How can that be made better? Like what common ground do you think you can have that you can bond over? And what can make it worse? Save the answers to those three questions. Just keep them in your back pocket and don't tell anyone else what anyone else said. And then for the barbarian and paladins, make sure that down the road at some point, whatever scenario they said would make their relationship better pops up. Could be anything from getting stuck in a jail cell together and having to talk out their differences to having a shared love of shortbread cookies for all I care. When it comes to like high roleplay D&D games, it's really on the players to like drive what story they want to tell. And then you as the DM are just presenting it to them. So assuming that they actually want to have like a redemption arc, you should give them the tools to do so. And then just kind of like sit back, you know, put them in that scenario and then watch what happens.